and welcome to my channel. Okay, so today we're gonna to be talking about my April favorites. So as you'll know, most of us have been stuck in the house for literally all of April. So most of the stuff I'm going to be showing you today has to do with like self-care and cleaning. When you're in quarantine, that's pretty much all you can do is take care of yourself and clean. So first I'm going to start off with the beauty category and some of my favorite beauty products right now. Let me start off by saying that I'm not sponsored by any of these brands. I just genuinely love them. Tula is no exception to that. This one is the 24-7 Moisture. It's a day and a night cream so you can basically use it whenever. I mostly use it at night because I like to use SPF in the morning when I'm going out, but I have used this under my makeup before and it just leaves everything so flawless and amazing and it just leaves my skin feeling so good. It's like my skin is thanking me for giving it what it needs. The next brand I want to talk about is a brand called Tan Lux, which is very new to me. I am a loving tan girl, tried and true. Loving tan is my favorite self tanner, but I just experimented with tan looks literally like end of March into April. So that's why it's in my April favorites. Oh my gosh, it's incredible. And let me tell you about the two products that I have in them. The first product I want to talk about is the tan Lux moisturizer, illuminating tanning butter. I'm wow. I got this on sale and it was only like $30 I think originally like $90 if it's gonna be $90 forever then I'm not sure if I'm going to continue my purchase with it but for one it smells amazing and two the color is so incredible and I've had a bad experience in the past with moisturizers that are also self tanners like they're tinted and I don't know just something about it, it makes my hands orange it makes like my cuticles orange it makes everything orange I guess it doesn't have the desired color that you want this y'all you put it on and it even has like illuminating properties to it it smells incredible leaves my skin feeling amazing okay it comes in this cute little cylinder container illuminating self tan drops wow 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 this is for the face which i absolutely love because i have used other self tanners for the face in the past like i've used saint tropez and i have used loving tans but this one is the best one i've ever tried because i felt like the other products they would give me the color that i needed which was really nice but the only thing that i found that was a little frustrating is that it would clog my pores and i would have all these like little tiny pimples or sometimes it would really clog and then i would get like almost a cystic me for a long time did not put any self tanner on my face this has changed my life and I actually mix this with my moisturizer it's like a drop or two mix it in put it in my face and I can put it on before I put on my makeup I can put it on when I'm going to sleep it does give me a really nice color amazing chef's kiss so as y'all know most nail places are closed and have been closed for over a month i decided to go out and get some like nail stuff and do it myself at home so the main reason why i would ever go to the nail salon is because they do a really great job of just taking out my cuticles and like cleaning my nails and making them look really nice i appreciate that so much they do an incredible job so i wanted to find something that would help me do that at home so i was at heb and i was talking to one of the beauty managers there and she recommended this product for me the sally hansen instant cuticle remover it dissolves your cuticles pretty much i put it on my cuticles move the cuticle down and then like they were gone it it's literally magic and then I painted my nails and for the first time ever my nail polish didn't like chip the next day or two days my nails have lasted for two weeks let me tell you what I've been using back in 2017 I tried this product for the first time it's the Sally Hansen their like gel polish one step is the color and then the second step is the gel old it's from 2017 and it was just all right it didn't look that good but it got the job done so I think what happened is that they improved their formula throughout the years because wow I, I bought some like two or three weeks ago amazing 
it literally looked like gel polish that I got done at the salon. I'm a believer now. It's amazing and it worked and now I feel like I can have my nails painted at all times because I can do it at home and I don't have to pay a lot of money at the salon. Let me tell you the two colors that I'm liking right now. Love Me Lilac. It's like that mauve pink color. A little peony. It's a number 247. And it's like a really pale pink. It almost looks white, but it's like pinkish. And I love it a lot. So these two Sally Hansen products are amazing. Another thing that I like are these little like razors that you can use for your face to get all those like baby hairs. And then also it gets all your dead skin off. And so I've been really liking these. They're on Amazon for like a pack of three. So you get three for like $5 or something. I usually do this maybe once a week after one of my showers. So my skin is like ready to be exfoliated. So I'm finished talking about beauty and I want to move on to home products, my favorite things for the home. We've all heard of Myers. Well, I want to tell you about my favorite scent by Myers. This is the Bluebell scent and apparently it's not like a super popular scent or it's just not one that they produce as often. But if you've ever been to Disney World, it reminds me of the Avatar ride, like the way that it smells. And then it's even blue, like Avatar. I really enjoy that ride at Disney World and wow. I don't know, something about it just reminds me of, of Avatar. If it sells out forever, I would be so sad. It makes me genuinely excited to like wipe down my counters. So good, love it. Another like home product that I like, it's more of like home office. A lot of us are working from home or studying from home. They're called Mild Liner Creative Markers, Double Ended Soft Mild Color Water Resistant. So they have a bunch of really cute colors. They're kind of like highlighters, I guess, but they're not as bright and strong, which I like. It makes me just so happy to use them. So I am obsessed with these little markers. So cute. Moving on to my last home product, something I stumbled upon. It's an electric sweeper. You only plug it in to charge it occasionally. I think the battery life is 24 hours of actual use, not just like 24 hours and then the battery dies. It's really quiet. It gets everything, everything that you think you would miss. Super lightweight, like, come on, it's lightweight. I have this, so it's only $30 and it really does get the job done. I feel like my apartment is so much cleaner because of it. Okay, so for the final part of the video, I wanna talk about my favorite books and my favorite podcasts. No, I'm not sponsored by Audible, so I'm not gonna tell you to get on Audible. The first book I wanna talk about is actually a podcast, so that's why I'm making this book and podcast, but it's Don't Keep Your Day Job by Kathy Heller, an incredible book and an incredible podcast. What drew me to the book was the little microphone and the little guitar because I play guitar and I sing. It has a little piece of something for everybody. You could be at a job that you may not feel like is your purpose or where you want to be for the rest of your life or for 30 years until you retire. Really amazing and I love it. And she also has a podcast. I love this book. I love her podcast. She posts the podcast two times a week. I listen to it on Spotify, but it's also on Apple Music. And I just really love Kathy Heller and all the good things that she's doing for people who don't want to keep their day job. So another podcast slash YouTube thing that I listen to pretty much every single day whenever they post is The Diz Unplugged. It's an entire podcast about Disney World and like latest news and all that stuff. I really enjoy listening to their podcast and they also post their podcast as they're filming it live. They post it on YouTube. It's amazing, I like it and it tells me everything about Disney. And if you know me, you know I love Disney. My last book that I've been enjoying, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up with Mary Kondo. So I got the second book in this series for Christmas and so I read the second book first and I wanted to read the first book. So I just started it and I love Mary Kondo. I love her Netflix show. It just makes me so happy and so free to like get rid of things. I don't need a bunch of stuff to make me happy. I, I'm content in my life where I'm at. I'm enjoying this book a lot. I'm sure a lot of you have already read it and I'm kind of late to the game. Like two million people have read it. Really good. I love it. And it makes me happy. I ran out of memory again, but what I wanted to say is thank you so much for watching my April favorites video. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and please hit subscribe because it really helps my channel out. And I'll see you next time. Bye.